20, 23, paper, one. Question one. Okay. A goes to A how many times? Once. A loop at A. A goes to B? Twice. Once. Twice. And directions required. All in black writing from now on. Okay. Done. A does not go to C, but A does go to D in one, direct, in one way. Okay, so A goes to D. <coughs> okay. Doesn't go to E or F. Done. Okay. B does not go to B. B does not go to A. B goes to C in one, in one way. Uh, B does not go to anybody else but F. Is that right? B goes to F in one way. B goes to F one direction. We're done. See the way I'm striking them all off like this? Please do not do that on your exam paper. You might actually need those numbers later on, won't you? So you can use a pencil and rub it back out again if you want, but don't use a pen. Okay? Now... C links on to everything once apart from apart from E where it links twice. So C goes to A once. C goes to B once. C goes to itself once. And it's E the one that is the one that it goes twice to. C goes to D. C goes to E once. And then it has to go twice. All right, done. And it goes to F as well. No, it doesn't go to F. Done. Okay, D goes to nobody but nobody but F. So where's D? And it only goes to F once. Okay. E only goes to itself. E goes to itself twice, is it? Double loop. Double loop for uh, E. Bit like uh, Mickey Mouse or something. And then that's it. And then F only goes to B once. So F, I'm going to draw around the outside. F going to B once. Okay. Write down a cycle which starts at node B. Any cycle that starts at node B. Whoa, that's soft, isn't it? Okay. B, C, B, C, B. Yeah. Any other ones? I'll just do one more basic one. B, C, A, B. Yeah. Not going to question that. We have that right, don't we? Okay. B to C to D to F, B, C, B, B, C, A, B. We're all done. Okay. Now, how does a directed graph differ from an undirected graph? Uh, in a directed graph, the edges have direction. And in an undirected graph, the edges do not have an arrow. 